Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you with us again. I made a new pie for Thanksgiving this year. Refrigerator peanut butter pie. And I made it with no sugar added, so it's diabetic friendly. I used Splenda. You can use monk fruit, which is a new sugar substitute that I've been trying and I love it. Here are your ingredients. You can pause and write them down. And hey, we love it when you subscribe. And please share this video with your friends who are looking for yummy, sugar-free desserts. I'm going to start with the crust. And I have some sugar-free graham crackers. And yes, you can find those in most grocery stores if you look for them. Uh, and we need about a cup, cup and a quarter. And I don't know to, how to tell you exactly how many. Uh, but that's about four or five. And I'm adding some sugar-free pecan sandies. Now hold in mind, sugar-free cookies are still fairly high in carbs, but we're just making a crust with this, so each person will only get a little bite. So in the food processor, I'm going to pulse these until they're in a really fine crumb. And then I'll pour my melted butter right in with them and let that mix in well. Then I'll pour it all into a nine inch uh, pie plate. If, the, if there's not enough butter for it to hold together as well as you'd like, you can add a little bit more. But this is a half a, a stick, which is a quarter cup. And if you have any lumps, just break them up. And then we're gonna form this uh, uniformly as much as possible all the way around. And I think the half stick butter is enough for this. So I'm just going to compress this and shape it kind of neatly. It's not as important with this pie, a refrigerator pie, as it would be a baked pie. Because if you don't compress it with a baked pie, the crumbs will come loose in your filling. So I'm going to chill this for about 30 minutes in the fridge and I'll be right back. Now for the whipped topping. And this is also part of the pie. So I have here a pint of organic heavy whipping cream and I chilled my bowl before I started. So I'm using the whip and I'm just going to pour this heavy whipping cream uh, right into the bowl and we'll talk a little bit about making whipped cream with Splenda. If you just use the Splenda it's going to separate. Uh, so we added just a touch of cornstarch to the Splenda. And yes, you want to be careful with cornstarch. It's a starch if you're diabetic, but really this is going to be just a little pinch. So we're beating our cream uh, and we're going to beat it until it forms peaks, not stiff peaks yet, but you see the trails uh, that the mixer leaves so you know that we're very close to where we want to be. You have to be careful with whipped cream not to overbeat. So we're just about there. Let's check it. And the total beating time is going to be less than about two minutes. I'll show you. I've got just a tiny little bit of cornstarch in my Splenda. And I've got it ready uh, for when we get the peaks that we're looking for. And you see how the trails that the beater leaves uh, have thickened up. And so there you go. It's it's not loose, but it's not stiff peaks yet. Uh, and that's the stage you're looking for when you add the Splenda or the sugar if you're using sugar. So I'm going to add this in very slowly, just a sprinkle at a time. And you can almost immediately uh, see it start to stiffen up. You can see the texture change. And you can... And I'm going to scrape it down from the sides once. We're at the point where you want to be careful not to overbeat. If you go far enough, you'll get butter. And we don't want butter. We want whipped cream. So let's beat it just a little bit more. You can see on my spatula there that it's getting stiff.
and you see it making the peaks in there. I'm going to add just a touch of vanilla uh, just because I like it. But you know, you really don't have to put vanilla in whipped cream. Uh, but I, I do like to have a little vanilla in mine. So here is our finished product. I want you to see the consistency and the texture. And with this little cornstarch trick, it's going to stay this way in the refrigerator overnight. It's not going to separate. And it's not going to weep on your pie where the, the moisture comes to the bottom and gets between the uh, topping and the pie. So we're going to pour this up and I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it stay chilled while I make the filling. Isn't that pretty? Now right here in the same bowl, I'm not going to wash it. I did change my beater though. Um, I'm going to add a softened package, an 8 ounce package of cream cheese. And I switched to this paddle blade because it, it handles cream cheese better. It gets the cream cheese gets caught up in the whip. And then I'm adding my peanut butter. And this is my homemade peanut butter uh, that I made in my food processor. I've got a video to show you how to do that. Uh, and it is sweetened with monk fruit, by the way, no sugar. Note to diabetics, you know that grocery store peanut butter, uh, unless you buy specially made organic, is full of sugar. That's one reason I make my own, besides the fact that it's good. Now I'm adding my sweetener. This is Splenda. I have made this with the monk fruit, the golden monk fruit, and it works really well and measures the same. So we're going to blend all this together. And you will have to scrape it down a couple times because it's pretty darn stiff. So you just beat it until it's smooth and creamy. See, there's the texture you're looking for. See how stiff it is. Scraping it down again. And then I'm going to add uh, my whip topping back in. And full disclosure, this is going to be a little bit less whip topping than you will have because I dumped a big bunch of it on the floor and had to rush to clean it up before the dogs got to it. And I hated to throw it away, but I didn't think the dogs needed it. So now I've, I've put half the whip topping back in. And we're going to beat this until it's smooth and creamy. You can see what we've got there. We'll just clean these beaters off and then we are ready to put this into our chilled cookie shell. And I kind of have to reach around the camera. Sorry to look so clumsy here. Uh, but we're going to pour this in and spread it out. And this is one reason now, because this is so stiff, that you wanted to compress and compact that cracker crumb shell and to chill it. Otherwise, it's going to pull uh, the crumbs away. And we'll top it now. And I want you to notice uh, how this whipped cream has kept its texture. It's still smooth and creamy. It hasn't separated. It's been in the fridge, oh, I don't know, about 30 minutes, but you can leave it in the fridge overnight and it won't separate, and that's the cornstarch. So I use the two-spoon method here. Go around the outside, make sure it seals to the crust, and then pour what you have left in the middle. And I have a little bit less because I spilled some. So a treat for the diabetic. These are Atkins peanut butter cups. I chilled them, and I'm going to break them up with a knife and use them as a garnish and just a little bit extra taste. You can also grate these with a grater once you get them hard. In the fridge, overnight, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And this is after an overnight chill. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about the whipped cream and the way it holds up. Thanksgiving morning, we're gonna cut this now and I have recruited a volunteer to try this pie um, and you'll meet her. She's my wonderful newly acquired, recently acquired granddaughter. So let's see how this cuts. Uh, it's been chilling. I don't know how well it'll stay together. This is an experiment. Let's give it a shot and yes, it stayed together nicely. Look at that. Doesn't that just look 
wonderful. Nice texture. Serves up pretty on the plate. Now I have given this to Christian. She's showing you um, a bite and she's going to try it. And she's a little skeptical about a sugar-free pie, but I think she's impressed. She says you can't tell it's sugar-free. You see the family in the background, my mother, my son, my grandson. It's Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again tomorrow. And I hope you try this pie.